And I'm Mike. Let's take a hike. is at Barn Island Wildlife Management Area. It's in Stonington, Connecticut. And it is a wildlife area that was instituted some time ago. Okay, we're heading into the hiking area of the wildlife preserve. As you can see, it's kind of rocky, but, but a real wide path. It does change as the path goes. It gets thinner. Yeah, a lot of it is wooded. As you can see here, it's very wooded. And the water views um, that you can see through the woods. So, it's a nice walk. And you're going to see a lot of water views on this hike. down into the open and there are water because it had did rain yesterday quite a bit and right now there is water blocking some of the path generally speaking it doesn't happen on occasion it does Jenna how long is this hike uh, it's about three miles we're looking at three miles and again it's pretty flat there's nothing challenging I would have to say that this one's probably less challenging than our last episode at Haley Farm but it is a little, it's, it's a lot longer than that one though. And as you can see, it's muddy, but you can get around it. Not too difficult. into the woods the last path was about, about a quarter of a mile is all and we highly recommend wearing uh, protection bug protection through this path because you, you will get bit quite a bit if you're if you're you know you have that issue some people get bit more than others like me yes like Jen So again, you, we break out to an open area, as you can see. That, that this is the last one, I think, that's really, really open. And it's very wooden, very wooded, excuse me, and it's also very, you can definitely smell the salt air here and other smells. We, again, are in Stonington, which is near Mystic, Connecticut, on the shore. And you can see Long Island Sound from here. Actually, are three main openings, not two. I'm just an idiot. 
But as you can see, in every one, there's really good scenery to look at when you get to the open. Very, very marshy. Very beautiful. And there's nests out there if you look straight ahead. Mm -hmm. Let me set up those uh, uh, stands for the birds because it is a nature and a bird preserve. Left, you can go right. You go left, it'll circle back and you'll head back to the parking lot. If you go right, what does it do, Jen? It goes out into the water and then you have to come right back because it, it ends. So it's a dead end, yeah. but you do get a great water view. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go left. the road less traveled, which me and Jen still go on. And you can still see the path, it's not an issue. It's just overgrown. So, just be aware of that. You'll get to a certain point and it'll be a little bit overgrown, but I mean, you can still see, clearly see the path. Go that way and get a whole bunch of more trail, a couple miles more, or you can go left, which is where we're going to go. I have the app for all trails, and this shows all the other trails that are out there, but we're following this red line here. So, depending on what you want to do, you can add on as much or as little as possible. There's so many options here. So as you can see, we have a blockage in the trail, and we have to get around it. You can go over or around it? You can go over, or you can go under. You select. section that we came out that was open so you can tell that we're pretty close to being back to the parking lot the sun has set in the west Some beautiful light there and then over here as you can see the water so we're we're through the main the main part of the walk couple of things as we wrap this up today. One, for heavy doses of insect repellent here, especially because this is the day after it rained. 
and we had heavy downpours here, so a lot of standing water. And plus it's quite marshy here, so you want to make sure that you do that. The second point, there are no rest rooms here. There are no porta potties, there's nothing. So if you're gonna go for a long walk, be prepared to know that, that there's nowhere to stop and do your business. You gotta be a nature person. Be a nature person. I wear your depends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, third thing, and when we come up, there is parking for about 10 cars. Um, you are down from a boat ramp. They don't like cars down there. Be aware of that. And there is porta potties back there. Yeah, there are porta potties down by the boat launch, but there's none on the actual trail. So, once again, the final. A great walk. Not very hilly. A couple of minor obstacles. We had the log, and we had some hanging. Branches, foliage. branches, foliage. I can never pronounce the word. Um, and there's that. And of course, as you can see, there's a little bit of water. Usually, that's not here. And a couple areas, there's always seem to be just because it's just marshy here, getting visited by the moon as it's after eight o'clock here. So we did about three miles today. You can add on to it. Double it, triple it. There are so many trails here. But just be aware of what we said. This is a great place. This is Jen and Mike. Thanks, Thanks for taking, for taking a, a hike. hike.